What's up guys, welcome back to Backroad Driver. Today, Sam's gonna show you some things on his truck and we're gonna do the top 12 things he's learned after owning his F-150 for one month. Guys, this has nothing to do with the, what is the best feature and all that kind of stuff. This is just 12 things that I've noticed since I got the truck that I'm really enjoying right now. Let's get into it. We're up at Richardson Performance. This is Scott Richardson. He is the 10R80 builder and he's a master. We just had him break it down, another video on that. And that's the transmission for my 2018 F-150. And that's why we're in his shop today. You can hit him up on Instagram if you've got a 10R80 that you need to have built above stock horsepower or if you've just smoked one out. He does a lot of stuff we've learned. Okay, so Sam. Number 12. So I got the 5.0 liter V8 in this truck instead of the EcoBoost. And uh, I was concerned that it would be lacking in power or I would miss that EcoBoost power. Guys, I don't miss it at all. This thing has a lot better tune on it than uh, I've, I've driven other 5.0 liter V8 trucks in the past, had one of them uh, in different generations. This thing's tuned a little bit hotter than those were. And I think, uh, if you buy a 2021 F-150 with the five liter, you're gonna be happy. So on the drive up, we had about seven and a half hours to talk and I was asking Sam, okay, you've had it for a month now, what is the feedback been? You know, every guy you drive up at a gas station or whatever, and people either notice your stuff or they don't. This truck looks very similar to the old truck. It does look quite a bit like my old truck, but a lot of the features, you know, everybody says, oh, the F-150, they updated, but they really didn't update it. They updated everything on this thing and it does turn a lot of heads in parking lots. Uh, Driving down the interstate today on the way up here, people are like looking back to see what that is because it's just enough difference. Of course, this is macked out. It's got everything done to it. Great looking truck, but ton of compliments. Number 10. So another thing I've noticed is wireless Android Auto is not perfect yet. Does it work? Yes. Does it work all the time? No, it does not. And it's also uh, sometimes a pain, like if you want to pull up a place on your phone and tell it you want to go there, you can't use it when you're hooked up to Android Auto. But like in the past, you could just unplug and you would unhook from Android Auto. You could pull it up, do whatever you needed to do and plug it back in. Well, that's not an option anymore because it hooks up as soon as you get in the truck. And so to get over that, you have to go in, turn off your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and all that sort of stuff. So Android Auto is a work in progress. Sometimes it's annoying to me, but if you're looking for a polished product, it's not there yet. Number nine, cylinder deactivation is not as bad as we originally thought it would be. And it's actually not even that noticeable. So on this entire drive up here, I didn't notice it till Sam brought it up. And then I was trying to see when he was doing it. He actually, and don't, don't make fun of him for this. He had it in eco mode on this drive up. <laughs> and he was trying to make it do it and show me what it was but you can barely tell what it is and he even has the aftermarket exhaust so it should be more pronounced but it's really hard to even tell what it is yeah. now what's it doing to your actual engine and is it bad for it can't answer that but is it easy to live with you don't even know it's happening so number eight is this aluminum hood is uh, a little flimsy um i a noticed a little thin I noticed on my previous truck, which also had an aluminum hood, that you could get some deflection when you're driving down the road, but not a ton. This thing, driving down the road at 75, 80 mile an hour, looks like it's about to blow up on you, or flip up on you from inside the cab. I know I'm leveled, so I'm getting a little bit more air in the front, don't know if that's part of it, but just kind of one of those things I've noticed that this hood wobbles around pretty bad driving down the road. So number seven is, uh, this steering wheel feels a lot more premium than steering wheels on past Ford vehicles, it, at least in the Lariat line. Um, we've got a video where Brad gets his new carbon fiber steering wheel and we referenced his uh, feeling a little bit plasticky and cheap for a leather steering wheel that you paid for. This one actually feels and is real leather, feels top notch. And so I'm really enjoying it. All right, number six, is the folding workspace here. 
Guys, I actually use this quite a bit. Um, put my laptop up here and everything. As you can see, I've got a plethora of food and stuff right here, but I actually do use this quite a bit. I give this thing a big thumbs up. Number five is the adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. This system actually works, guys. I've had this on other cars in the past, Infiniti, uh, Brad's wife's Lincoln. Uh, they just don't work that good. And this system is one you'll actually use and it won't drive you crazy jerking, jerking you across lanes and all that kind of stuff. I, we drove up here today with this thing running all, almost the entire time and loved it. So number four is the folding lockable storage. I use this a whole lot more than I thought I would. Um, I got it just cause it was new. This stuff right here, man, you come out with groceries or whatever, when the wife sends you to the store, you put the bags in here and it doesn't end up underneath your seat. Um, and you can also put uh, weapons, guns, that sort of thing in here, flip your seats down and lock it up. And you know that you're safe when you're out. People can't get into your stuff. Number three, you know, guys, that we were very nervous about this color at one point in time, but now that I've got the truck and I have it in my own driveway, this is one of my favorite things about this truck now. Always turns a lot of heads and parking lots and everything. People want to know what color is that truck and ask me about it. So space white is awesome. Number two and number one both deal with sound, but number two is the unleashed sound system. And guys, I, I do enjoy it. I do, I think it sounds very good, but I knew what going in that I would end up with a subwoofer in here and I'm going to, that's coming. Um, just wanted to let you know that if you think you're gonna get this and not put a subwoofer in, if you're that guy, you're gonna be putting a subwoofer in the back. So guys, number one thing that I've noticed about this truck or I'm enjoying about this truck is the exhaust on this thing with the 5.0 liter sound that can't be replicated on any eco boost is just ain't going to happen and i was worried that i wasn't going to have enough power and that sort of thing the the truck has, has plenty of power and i get to hear that sweet music every time i get into it that's the number one reason i bought this truck anyway was to switch to the v8 and i'm extremely happy with my decision guys Thanks for checking this video out guys. And hey, we want to say a special thanks to Scott for letting us use his garage today. Richardson Performance, you can find him on Instagram and he is the guy for high performance stuff when it comes to Forge. Uh, check him out and you can check Sam's playlist out for all of his F-150 videos and all the mods he's done. If you like that truck, down below in the description right now and right here in the card. Peace out. Peace. Peace.